Ah, hi. You there? Can you see me? And, uy, ay, Dios mío, se me cae la mesa. Perdón. Can you see me and hear me? Yes, teacher. Yes, uh, yes, I teacher. See and okay, perfect. I see and listen to you. Excellent. I'm so glad to see you here. Van a creer que hoy yo pensé que era lunes, pero hoy es martes. Yo no sé, pero la clase de ayer no la tengo en mi cabeza. <laughs> no, no sé, como que la omití. Y según yo, hoy es lunes y acabamos de volver de... Um, de del fin de semana, pero no, ayer sí tuvimos clases. I'm so sorry, this, this, these things happen to me a lot sometimes that I forget some things about the things that I did or the things that I planned because of my TDA. Um, porque tengo TDA, entonces creo que eso hace que que se me olviden a veces las cosas. So, I, I, was, I, I was in, like, my classes, and I have, like, the, the, the carpet where I have my documents, and I see, like, oh, my God, what is the class of today? And I saw that there is, like, 14, and I said, oh, my God, how is going to be 14 if today is Monday? But now today is not Monday, so... Um, it, it, it was like a little bit surprising, but in another way it's not because I know that I have this problem with the time and sometimes I can't remember, um, the dates or the, the months or the, the time or whatever like that. Sometimes it's pretty difficult because, um, I need to know like some things and sometimes I forget it. For example, um, early today I was talking with my sister and she told me that she's gonna come out, come out. Um, and she told me like three times, but I didn't remember where she was gonna um eat. So I asked. And I asked her for the fourth time, uh, where are you going? And she says, oh, my God, I tell you, film, I, I tell you like three times. And I said, like, oh, my God, be patient with me. Um, sometimes I forget it and it's pretty difficult. It's pretty difficult for other people to think like they need to um, to repeat the things to me because I forget it. But I, I try my best. I swear that I try my best. And, and nothing um we are about to start a new topic with you and this is gonna be an amazing class i hope that you are fine how are you who mm -hmm. is done Fine. Good. I'm ready. Ready? I'm ready. You're ready. Okay, perfect. Um, I just need to remember. Me quedó alguna algún ejercicio pendiente de ayer. Que si les digo que no me acuerdo que ayer tuvimos clase. Para mí ayer fue domingo. Um, ¿Nos quedó algún ejercicio pendiente? Yes. No. No me quieren decir por qué no quieren no, pasar. No, teacher. Recuerda, no, teacher. Ah, ok, 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 ok. Excellent. But um, you are like fine right now. Vamos a comenzar entonces con la siguiente clase. Solo permítanme. Vamos a iniciar la siguiente clase. Todos listos. Vimos lo de Speaking of Recommendations about Molly, Rod, and Teresa. Y les dimos como recomendaciones, ¿verdad que sí? Sí. 
Okay. So we're going to start with a new topic. This is like the future present progressive. And it's when you use the future, but also you are using the progressive. They are two different tenses. When you talk in English, it's a different tense, okay? It's not the same when you're talking um, but in simple past, when you're talking simple present or in, sim uh, in present progressive. But sometimes you can like mix the tenses and do whatever you want when you are talking about because of the of the um because of the intentions that you are talking uh, remember like um we we know what can what we can what can we want to say lo que podemos y queremos decir and um there is not rule when we are talking about it but Sometimes we need to remember like uh some things like the structures and all of these things. And today we're going to have a BCBC class. We're going to talk about family and excuses. And now we're going to talk about excuses and present progressive. Les estoy cambiando ya. Permítanme. Permítanme. Abrí la presentación que no era. <ríe> Lo siento, guys. Otra vez, otra vez. Hoy es la clase 14. Sí, la clase 14. So, today is present progressive and family. Of course, we're going to talk about it. And um, nothing we're going to talk about it today. And for this, we're going to start with some um, example like and using wool because that was the the last the last topic we saw if you remember that was the last topic we were talking about like wool and how do we use it so first of all i need to know why do we use wool para qué se utiliza wool guys Uh -huh. Para que se utiliza wool. Do you remember? We saw it at the last class. Uh -huh. I'm completely sure. Uh -huh. Es como para... desear, querer. Para crear deseos. Expresar un deseo. Expresar deseos. Okay. And when I say about. <laughs> Modal verbs, what do you think that is it? ¿Qué es un modal verb? Así como en general. Verbo auxiliar. Auxiliary, okay, that's right. A verb that is auxiliary. Excellent. You are doing fantastic. Don't be afraid. No se, no se preocupen en contestarme. Yo sé que a veces estas cosas son como, dan un poquito de miedo y así, pero ustedes lo están haciendo fantástico. Pero ok. Es, que es como, uh -huh. como una probabilidad, permiso, no sé, algo contextual. Algo contextual. Ok. Excellent. Algo contextual. I really like it. You are like doing a really good, um, um, you are like, uh, you have like a really good explanations about what is a modal verb and how do we use it. And it's, that's great. Ustedes necesitan saber qué es y para qué se usa, right? No solo vengo y lo usan y no saben para qué es. So, um, we're going to have, first of all, Vamos a hacer eh, una pregunta, bueno, vamos a hacer un pequeño ejercicio con Wood. Este va a ser chiquito porque vamos a pasar después a la parte de las de la familia. So, um, we're going to have the question. Ok, this is an interesting question. Esta, esta pregunta está bien interesante y creo que se les va a hacer bien interesante a ustedes eh, poder responderla. La pregunta es, What would you do if you could travel back in time? ¿Qué harían si pudieran viajar al pasado? Imagínense que ustedes tienen una máquina del futuro, así como en volver al futuro, ¿sí? Y ustedes pudieran cambiar algo, ¿qué harían? O en vez de cambiarlo, ¿qué harían? ¿Qué harían en ese momento? Si volvieran al pasado, ¿qué es lo que harían? What would you do? That's the question. It's an interesting question and we're going to have 
um, 10 minutes to do it, ¿ok? So, do you have any questions about the questions? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta sobre la pregunta? No, creo que todo está bien. Ok, so I'm going to open the breakup rooms and you're going to have five minutes to answer this question. Que sean buenas respuestas, guys. Pregúntense, si yo pudiera bajar, viajar al pasado, ¿qué haría? Ya, yeah? and tell me. Go, guys, go, go, go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to um, wait for you here. Get into the breakup rooms.
Okay, guys, we are back. So I would like to know who wants to share the exercise. Uh -huh. A volunteer to show me the exercise. I don't like to pick someone. Go, you can do it. Be a volunteer. No one? Oh my God, you are so shy today. Hoy los veo bien, bien tímidos. Okay, Ricardo, tell me. Bueno, okay, teacher. In general, if it were possible to, to return to the past, I will, I will change many things that I have done grown mm -hmm. en general si traté de decir que si fuera posible que llegara de volver el tiempo atrás pues trataría de hablar todo lo que yo considero que he hecho mal mm -hmm. and how do you say that in english if i could change everything that uh -huh. i did wrong uh -huh. I will change uh, many things. Me gustaría cambiar muchas cosas. Uh -huh. That I have done, que he hecho, grown, equivocado, o mal. Uh -huh. Okay, things I've done wrong. Done wrong. Uh -huh. Excellent. Okay, amazing. You are doing fantastic. Siempre busquen la manera de decirlo en inglés. Créanme que siempre hay una manera de decir las cosas en inglés. Um, yo lo que hago, porque pues también me pasa, se los confieso, um, no soy la increíble, súper sábelo todo de todo el mundo, así que créanme que me pasa, también me pasa a veces que no sé cómo decir algo. Y lo que hago es cambiar el contexto de la oración. Sí, digo lo mismo, pero de otra forma. Y eso es un buen, buen tip para cuando están hablando inglés. Tipo, si no se acuerdan cómo decir una cosa, está bien. Eso nos pasa a todos y nos pasa hasta en español. Así que siempre busquen otra manera de decir las cosas, pero yo sé que ustedes pueden, ¿ok? Thank you, Ricardo. You did it so great. Applause to you because you did it great, ¿ok? And we're going to continue with Thomas. I see Thomas. Yes, Thomas. I'm all ears to hear you. Okay. Um, if I have the opportunity to go back in time, I wouldn't say nothing. You would what? I I will wouldn't or will not change nothing. Ah. I wouldn't change nothing. Uh huh. Uh, because uh, if, for example, if I made uh, a mistake, I can learn from it. Okay. And I I am not uh, have a uh, scar it to back in time. Mm hmm. Because uh, if, uh, como lo digo, uh, if mm -hmm. I I learn to my mistake. Okay, that's important. That's important. That's it. That's it's all. Okay, I I think that it's important thing. <laughs> I don't know if you saw um Spider-Man that was the last movie when no it, it wasn't Spider-Man. Yes, it was Spider-Man. Yeah, 
esa película de Spider-Man donde él regresa al pasado, pero él nunca se convierte en Spider-Man, entonces le quitan los poderes y le toca regresar al pasado y todas estas cosas. Like, you can learn about these things because if you want to change your past, maybe you're gonna change your future, your present, because you are not gonna be the same person if you change your past, right? For example, if I change, like, uh, my friends for the high school, I wouldn't be the same because I am made by the pieces of the people that I loved. So um, it's important to consider that if we change the past, maybe we're going to change the present. And I don't know if you saw this, uh, this movie that is Efecto Mariposa. No sé si alguien la ha visto. Efecto Mariposa. No? No, teacher. No, no. no, no teacher. Well, se las recomiendo. Efecto Mariposa es una película que habla sobre un chero que tiene como la habilidad de, de cambiar decisiones, pero cuando va cambiando decisiones su vida va empeorando porque se da cuenta de que cada decisión que toma influye en su vida. So, I remember this, this movie because a mí me costó entenderla porque es un flashback total, va adelante hacia atrás, adelante hacia atrás. So, uh, la vi como tres veces antes de entenderla, pero es una muy buena película. And it talks about, like, when we change something in our past, we're gonna change everything in our future, everything in our present is not gonna be the same, okay? So I like the Thomas answer. Also, um, it's okay if you want to change anything. For example, if I could change something, I will change uh, my first boyfriend. Yeah, because it was like a waste of time. <laughs> But um, only that, okay? So who wants to, to tell me um one, one participation, one more participation? Ajá. ¿Quién me quiere decir la última? Ajá. A volunteer. You can do it. You can do it. So guys, so guys, you can, you can, you do it, you do it. Who wants to do the next? Should I pick someone? Okay. Vamos a elegir a alguien. Quiero ver. Tiffany Guadalupe, you there? Tiffany, no. Okay. Uh, Milena de Los Ángeles, you there? No. Okay. Maybe What happened? no listen. Ajá, los veo aquí, pero no, no veo que respondan. Ok, Norma, Ir, Nataren. Ay, hola. Ay. <risa> you okay. can do it, Norma. Ay. Quiero ver qué modo era la cosa. If I am called travel, travel back. ¿Así era verdad? Ajá, uh -huh. back in the past. Yeah, but in the past, the uh, the first thing I am I do is uh, watch uh, watch my mother because she is they she uh -huh, she was they uh, some years ago. Okay. That's, okay. mm -hmm. That's it. it. Okay, <laughs> thank you, Norma. Thank you for sharing your exercise. Okay, I think everything was good with this exercise. You did it so great, and we are about to do something else. And I'm going to show you my screen. Les voy a mostrar mi screen y me avisan cuando la puedan ver.
Ok, esta va a ser una I parte de preguntas. Gracias. Esta va a ser prácticamente una parte de preguntas y respuestas porque quiero saber qué tanto saben de la familia. So, me levantan la manita quien quiera responderme y así les voy a ir dando la palabra. First of all, how do you say mamá? Mother. Perdón, mother. <ríe> me dio risa que me responde y sube la mano al mismo tiempo. Ok, thank you, Norma. Gracias por intentar. <ríe> Antes de que me pregunte otro, mejor eso. <ríe> ok, excellent. You are doing great, Norma. Ok, someone else. Uh, how do you say father? No, how do you say papá? Ya se los dije. Ay, no. Lo siento, lo siento. Fue mi culpa, mi culpa. Yo lo confundí. No vaya. Para María. María, how do you say hijo? Nautan. Uh, Sorry. How do you say hijo? Hijo, hijo, hijo. Son. Yes. Son, teacher. Son, yes, excellent, amazing. Son. No podía activar el micrófono. Sorry. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. You're doing fantastic, okay? Uh, Marcos Palacios, quiero ver. Marcos, how do you say hija? Daughter, daughter. Daughter, perfect, excellent. You're doing fantastic, okay? Someone else. How do you say hermano? Tiffany? Brother. Brother. Ok, excelente. Levante la manita para que les pueda ir dando la mano. Ok, brother. Thank you so much. Ok, someone else. How do you say hermana? Sister. Sister, excellent. Con eso de los brothers and sisters, quiero decirle que pueden decirles de esta forma. Big sister, middle sister, older, middle sister, or young, bueno, le vamos a, le vamos a poner like young sister. Y lo mismo con, 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 con él, mi eh, big brother, middle brother, or young brother. Otra palabra para decirlo es old sister, old sister, como ya nos habían dicho por acá, old sister o brother, como le quieran decir también, old sister. <coughs> Perdón. O brother, también puede ser... Um, and young sister, young sister or brother, young sister or brother, ok, esto es para decir el más grande, el mediano y el pequeño, ok, el más grande, the big or the old, the middle, el de en medio y um, the, the young uh, brother or sister es el, el menor, ok, esto en cuanto a los grados. Ok, levante la mano. Who knows how do you say abuela? Jenny? Grandmother. Grandmother, perfect. Ok. Uh, María, how do you say abuelo? Grandfather. Grandfather, perfect. Ok, someone else. How do you say tío? María Uncle Uncle, perfecto Ok, how do you say guys Tía Tiffany Aunt Aunt, perfect You are doing fantastic Ok, how do you say um, Sobrina How do you say sobrina Jenny? Niece. Niece. Perfect. Amazing. Okay. How do you say sobrino? Thomas? 
nephew. Nephew, perfect. How do you say hermano gemelo o hermana gemela? Al, los... Raise your hand. Los twins, los twins. Los twins, of course. Twin sister <laughs> the or twins, twin The brother. twin sister, the twin brother. Excellent. Okay, you're doing fantastic for the moment. How do you say primo? Uh, yes, Lizette? Cousin. Cousin, excellent. Cousin, okay, amazing. You're doing fantastic. Okay, how do you say, guys, bisabuela? Tomás? Great grandmother. Excellent. Okay. Lisette, how do you say bisabuelo? Great grandfather. Excellent. Amazing. Lo han hecho perfecto hasta el momento. Ahora quiero saber quién sabe cómo se dice tatara tatarabuela. How do you say tatara tatarabuela? No one knows. Okay. Tata, 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 abuela se dice great, great grandmother. Okay. Abuela es grandmother. Bisabuela es great grandmother. Tata, abuela es great, great grandmother. Con dos great. Okay. Con dos great. So, how do you say tata, abuelo? Great, great grandfather. Great, great grandfather, of course. Ok, veamos dos familias que a veces no se usan mucho, pero son bien importantes. Cuando ustedes se casan, esa es una familia en la ley. Se llama la family in law. Se los voy a dejar aquí. Family in law. Es esa familia que usted adquiere cuando se casa. Sí, que no es su familia de sangre, pero como usted se casó con la persona, esa familia también es su familia. Ahora quiero saber, ¿cómo se dice suegro? Father-in-law. Father-in-law, Father in law. perfecto. You're doing fantastic. Okay. María Vilma, ¿cómo se dice suegra? Mother-in-law. Mother-in-law. Perfecto. You are doing fantastic. ¿Ok? ¿Cómo se dice yerno? No. Sí, yerno es. Sí, sí, sí es. Yerno. <ríe> yo, yo, me la puedo en inglés y no en español. ¿Sí, Norma? Son in law, perfecto, son in law, that's yerno, ok. Um, con la mujer se dice... Nuera, nuera, nuera. tiene yeah. razón, nuera. Perdón, es que en español sí se me olvidan, en inglés no. Ok, ¿cómo se dice nuera en inglés? Tauder in law. Tauder in law, perfecto, you are doing fantastic, ok. How do you say um, cuñado? Brother in law. Brother in law, perfecto. How do you say cuñada? Sister, Sister in law. law. Sister in law, perfecto. You are doing fantastic, guys. You are doing amazing. Okay, <laughs> ahora hablemos de otra familia importante. Step family. La step family es esa familia que es adoptiva, ¿ok? La adoptiva, esa que usted no escogió, pero porque se casó, por ejemplo, ya tiene, y esa persona ya tenía hijos, o quizás usted adoptó a alguien, vamos a hablar de la step family. So, how do you say padrastro? Padre, step. Step father. Este, step father, ah, ok. Este father, perfect. You're doing fantastic. ¿Cómo se dice madrastra? Step mother. Step mother, perfecto. Ven que lo están haciendo súper bien. Ok, ¿cómo se dice eh, hijastra? 
¿Sí? Stepdaughter. Stepdaughter. Perfect. Stepdaughter. ¿Cómo se dice hijastro? Stepson. Stepson. Perfecto. Ok. ¿Cómo se dice hermanastra? Step sister. Step sister. Step sister, perfecto. ¿Cómo se dice hermanastro? Como Drake y Josh. Ajá. ¿Hijastro? Hi, see you there. How do you say hijastro? Este brother. Este brother, perfecto. Ven que sí saben, sí saben. Es cuestión de lógica. Ahora las últimas dos cosas. ¿Cómo se dice esposa? Wife. Wife. ¿Cómo se dice esposo? Husband. Husband. Perfecto. Amazing. You already know about the family. Ya se pueden toda la familia. Todo lo que les acabo de decir, ya se pueden todita, todita la familia. Quiero saber, ¿alguien tiene alguna pregunta acerca de esto? Sí, Tomás, dígame. I had a question because when the family in law, because uh, type it, for example, Say sister in law, but typing a sister script in script law. Ok, en script creo que casi no se utiliza. Yo preferiría que usted dijera sister in law, que es lo más común. ¿Sí? Ok. Ok, está bien. ¿Alguna otra pregunta? No. Okay, amazing. So for today, we're going to do the speaking activity and this is introduciendo a mi familia. Okay, introducing my family. Quiero que me hablen de su familia. Al menos, al menos de cinco personas, okay? Que me cuenten quiénes son. Like, for example, um, in my family, we are five. My mom, her name is Dalia. She is so smiling. I have two sisters, the middle one names is Denise, and she is so good playing um, guitar. My other brother names is Jesse, and he is so funny. My other sister is Adara, and she is always angry. She is so serious. And me, I am the older sister, and I am smiling all the time, right? This is my example. Y eso es lo que ustedes van a hacer. Do you have any questions? No. Okay, so go to the breakup rooms, guys. See you in a minute. <coughs> Get into the breakup rooms, please.
Okay, we are all here, so I need to hear you about the exercise. Who wants to tell me the exercise? Mm -hmm. A volunteer. Uh -huh. Who wants to tell me the exercise? Maria. Okay, Maria, tell me. Tiene el micrófono apagado. <laughs> okay. Uh, my family is... In my family, we are six members. Mm -hmm. I have um, my mom and my mother. She is uh, 44 years old. I have two sisters, a big sister. She is um, 27 years old. Mm -hmm. She have um well I have a uh, two brother in law mm -hmm. and I have a uh, one brother and one sister in law. We are one son. He is thirteen years old. Your name is Emerson and and me, and I have a one daughter. Your name is Maria Jose. She is four years old. Okay, thank you so much. A la personita que me dijo que tiene 30, remember that is 30, not 13. Okay, 30. 30. 13. Son 13 años. Ah, son 13. Yo pensé es, que ajá, estaba hablando es de alguien más. el hijo de mi hermano y mi cuñada. Ah, ok, ok. Ah, pues olvídelo. My mistake, my mistake. You are right, ok? okay. Thank you so much, María. Ok. Everything was so good with this exercise. Do you have any more questions about it? No. So I'm going to see you tomorrow in class, guys. Bye. Bye, Bye. teacher. Bye, teacher. Good night. Good night.